The teen charged with intentionally running over one of his classmates with his car and then leaving the scene is going to serve 25 years. All right, let's go to WMAR 2 News, Skylar Henry, who spoke with the state's attorney about the judge's decision. Skylar? Yeah, Jamie, the state's attorney's office released video of that hit and run to us today. In it, you can clearly see and hear Nick Hoffman hitting another student with his car. We want to warn you, the footage you're about to see may be a little disturbing to watch. It's recording. Ready? Is it recording? Mm -hmm. From the time the cell phone video camera is turned on, you can hear what Anne Arundel County State's Attorney Wes Adams says is then 17-year-old Nicholas Hoffman and his plan. What's up, boy? What's up, boy? Regardless of what the dispute was before, there's just, you don't use a car, you don't run somebody down in a way to settle that. I mean, it, it, that's just not the way lawful people behave. The video shows Hoffman intentionally running into and over 16-year-old Logan Dandley. His reason? Adams says simply an argument in their high school. There's no doubt that, and, and what we were looking to prove was the premeditation, just the mindset of what he was doing going into this brutal attack. Um, to use his car like a weapon like that is, it's actually really unheard of in my 22 years of experience. Nick! Hoffman then drove away from the scene, but was stopped a few blocks away after officers noticed the damage to his vehicle. Adam says witnesses alerted a school resource officer to what happened, one of whom was instructed to start recording that cell phone video, and that helped police not only find out who was responsible, but pinpoint the how and why in this brutal hit and run. And he drove away, and it, there was no hesitation, there was no swerving. He put him right between the headlights, and, and he, he hit him. He knew what he wanted to do. Absolutely knew what he wanted to do. There was, there was, the video clearly shows what his intent was, both verbally and physically, and of course, visually. Now, Hoffman was convicted of attempted first degree murder and first and second degree assault. Amazingly, Danley was able to recover from his injuries.